You've probably seen it. You've probably played it. Zombie dice. Avocado. Games. Buenos dias, amigos. Saludos from Avocado Games on the Trail. This is Michael Savaggio. Christopher Grabowski. And we're here to introduce you to a deadly game of zombie dice made by, you may have heard of him, Steve Jackson Games. A little company out there that makes these cute little things. What's great about zombie dice, one thing is it's readily available. You can go to a lot of stores and we'll tell you which ones. They're all the major department stores that you do business at. Uh, game stores have them. This thing is all over the place. And why is it all over the place? Because this game couldn't be more dirt simple. And it's another dice game, so the wind. Emergency cup. Hey. hey. So, I, so here's the thing. Here's how simple it is. These are the rules. All of them. Can't get simpler than that. Here's the objective of the game. You're a zombie. You need 13 brains, which look like little brains. Yay, little brains, if you can see that. Believe me, they're brains. <clears throat> There's also little feetsies, and there are the deadly explosion-looking thing called shotguns. The theme behind this story is, you're a zombie. Yes, you're a zombie. Sorry, bad news, but you're a zombie. But it's great being a zombie because you get to play zombie dice. So anyway, uh, your objective is to go ahead and take out victims, humans. All right, each dice represents a human. Now, you either eat their brain, yum, yum, they get away, oh, so sad, or they shoot you, unfair. Now, the red dice are the most dangerous. They have the most bad stuff. I think they have the most shotgun hits. So, there's three red dice. There are four medium danger dice, which are yellow. And uh, let me just... Let's just read these off. This is two shotgun hits versus, I believe, red has three shotgun hits. Okay. And then there's green that has only one shotgun hit. And, of course, many juicy brains. Now, here's the thing. This game is so simple and it's so much fun because it is a pressure luck game. And, as you can see, being a zombie, uh, my coordination is off. You can see that. Oh, really? In your lap. Oh. How about that? So here's how it basically goes. You blindly draw one, two, three dice. And look, I have a danger dice and I have two easies. Then you roll them and get the results. Okay, believe it or not, the green guy shot me, the red guy ran away, and we have a yummy brain. Now, we could keep that yummy brain and add one point to the 13 that we need. But, we're greedy. So, these dice get put aside. And you're supposed to put one on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle. But, so, I'm going to grab three more. Now, here's the thing. If I get shot two more times, because I've been shot once already, because this is evidence of it. If I get shot three times, my roll ends. I lose any of the brains that I've captured on that particular roll. And, the roll goes to the other zombie over here, Chris. So I roll, and look, yummy brains, and one gets away. Now, I have more red guys in here, so I'm thinking, you know what, this is a good start, so I'm going to take my three brains and run away myself. So now I have three of my 13 brains, I'm going to pass it to Chris. So he, you shake it up, blindly pick three, you got to keep an eye on this guy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, like I said. Yeah, okay. He could still die now. See, he gets shot. One shot. And he's got two yummy brains. So you want to keep your two points or do you want to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep... Going he's going to push it. <coughs> so, which means he's got... Le he's only got three green dice in there. So the, these should be nasty. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's I see. told you. Two more brains. Two more brains. He's been shot once. He's got a total of four brains. Do you want to keep it or do you want to... I'm going to keep it. You're only going downhill from there. <laughs> I'm just curious what he would have done. What he would have picked. But, you know, you can never do that. So, he's got one more brain than I do. Clearly, 
better at catching people than me. Meaner. Much meaner. Okay. I have reasonable dice. I have a red one in there. And oh. one. <laughs> I get two hits. Now, three will kill me, but I have no brains to lose, so it doesn't make sense not to draw three more. Oh, yeah. I get two brains. I'm running away with that. So I have a total of five. Okay. And Chris has a total of four. So that came out better than I expected. I thought I was going to be dead. This is a fast game, too. One of each. One of each. That's nice. He gets shot Ooh. twice and he has one juicy brain. Now he could keep that or he could risk it. Door number one or door number two or door number three. I'll risk it. Yes, that's... So there's only one point there on this team. There's only one point. He's going to cry if he loses it. Let me tell you something. Okay. Two reds this time. Oh, oh and he shot. is shot down like the nasty the little monster he is. I can't reach that because I'm elderly. So now I have the edge on him. Okay, so let's see if I can keep my lead. Boom. Yeah. So you can play that game. Three green dice for Uncle Michael. And he gets shot for having such a great time. Uh, it's one brain. I'm going to... I, I got it. I'm sorry. I'm a zombie. I, I have to. You know, I, I need to really have some advantage over him. And I get shot a second time, but I get another brain. And I have footsies. I will take the two, which gives me seven to his four. Now he's sweating, because I'm past the halfway mark. <laughs> but he right, used well, up two of the reds. He got shot twice, and had green through the footies. So there's only one more red in there. He's got nothing to lose by rolling, by the way. He's, he's got no brains to lose. <laughs> oh, my God. He must have one of those kick-me signs on the back of him. I have seven. He has four. When it comes to zombies, I'll say no more. A shot and a big, fat, hairy brain, but I soaked up a red. I'm going to go for it. Because that will just annoy him if I have more points than he does. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I get another hit, but oh, I get boy. two more brains. So that's three plus seven. That's ten. I'm only three away from oh. winning. Pressure's on there, cupcake. <clears throat> He's got to make one. Four to ten. Come on. What kind of zombie is this guy? Of course, you can play this with any number of players. This is a great party game, too. Okay. He gets shot, and he gets a brain. So that is... I'm going to keep brings rolling. Him that, that's good. Let's see if he gets really lucky. Oh, boy. He gets shot, and he has feetsies. Uh, I'm going to keep the one by five. Uh, if I were you, I would go for it. You know why? I The next roll, I have a very good chance of just ending the game. Yeah, but I, I'm going to keep the one point. Okay. Otherwise, I'm not going to have it. Okay, so it gives him five. So he has half the points that I have. I don't know if there's a last lick here. I'll have to check. Two greens and a yellow. Too easy. Two brains and a shot. Is it pinging? <laughs> Gonna be done! One more point and I win! <laughs> if you don't get into it, if you don't... Every once in a while. You're not playing the game. Oh. Oh, you got it. Not only did I get uh, the brain that I needed, I got an extra brain. I was so generous, I let somebody run away. Mm -hmm. So that is zombie dice. I don't think he gets a last lick, so I'm not sure. After you add new dice, set aside brains. Brains. Play until someone reaches 13, then finish the round. No, oh. So he, he has a last shot at this. Now... <clears throat> I, since I started, he gets he has the advantage of knowing 
that he has no choice. So I have 14. So he has 5. Let me do the math. A lot. Uh oh. He got a he got a brain that would bring him up to six. And he's he's. Zombies don't die. They just like I don't know. They get zilled. So zombie dice. Now this is a lot of fun with a lot of people. Especially if you're in the right mood, if you know what I mean. So, zombie dice. Anybody can play it. Five-year-old. Doesn't even require any real math. It's just such a neat little game. And it's in this crush-proof container, so it's going to travel well. Lots of good reasons. Also, glow in the dark. Easy to find in your campsite. You know, you don't need the, the bloody thing, but, you know... It's not such a bad thing to have. And if you throw Yahtzee in here, too, you're done. You've got all the dice games you need. So, Michael Savaggio and Christopher Grabowski from On the Trail. Avocado Games on the Trail. Yeah, I, 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 you, should, you should visit Avocado Games. There's a hyphen in between. So, you should go there and see what we got. We got some great games. And we're going to do some more of these. I don't think we're going to run out for a while, so if this is the kind of video that you like, there's more coming. As a matter of fact, my favorite is coming up, The Rock Game. I love that game. I, that's, that's my, of all the videos we've done, The Rock Game, I, I just love it. Anyway, you take care of yourself and have a good time. These dice games are a lot of fun, easy to teach, have a very, very wide age group, and highly portable. But what do you want in a backpacker's world of entertainment? So, this is Michael Savaggio and... Christopher Grabowski. Hey, that's the guy that you can't see. He's kind of like a zombie ready to come out! Ah! Tell me that you roll Dice the way that I do now in 